हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सी टेरिस आज हम ऐसी जगह पे हैं जो केरला के वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल प्लेस दैट इज कुटनाड सो वेलकम टू कुटनाड कुटनाड इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल प्लेस इन केरला इट इज लोकेटेड इन एलपी डिस्ट्रिक्ट कुटनाड इज आल्सो नोन एज द राइस बाउल ऑफ केरला It is almost 115 km from Cochin Airport. The nearest railway stations are Alappi and Changanasheri railway station. You have KSRTC which are state run buses flying from Kochi to Alappi and connecting buses from Alappi to Kutnad. According to literature, Kutnad was believed to be forest with dense tree growth. This forest was destroyed subsequently by a wild fire. It is a well-known fact that burnt black wooden logs were mined from paddy fields called as curry nilam which in Malayalam means black paddy fields until the recent past. This fact throws some light on the theory of chuttanad evolving to kutanad chuttanad in malayalam means burnt land in kutanad most of the places names ends in curry in malayalam which means burnt residue or charcoal some of the familiar places in kutanad are dramangari pudukkari mitragari kainagari etc Kutanad is well known for its vast paddy fields and geographical peculiarities. The region has the lowest altitude in India and is one of the few places in the world where farming is carried on around 1.2 to 3 meters below sea level. Kutanad region is categorized into lower Kutanad upper kutanad and north kutanad food and agriculture organization has declared kutanad farming as a globally important heritage system we are presently driving on state highway 11 it starts in color code lp and ends in peruna which is at changanasheri it is a 24.2 km long straight road This road is popularly known as AC road Driving on this road is really exciting because of its scenic beauty which is uh, supported with backwaters on one side and beautiful paddy fields on the other the backwaters which you see has more or less become fresh water or brackish because of the construction of the new mukam band i will try to take you over there you will find a uh, lot of uh, people staying in the bank of this uh, backwater and the only problem which i found uh, while driving along this road is that during monsoons this road generally gets flooded in one or two location but in rest of the season traveling on this road soothes your mind
Now I would like to show you how majority of the population in Kutunad stay. Most of them stays in the bank of um, uh, rivers or backwaters and they have uh, their own private bridges constructed across the river. In olden days, uh, the only mode of transport was uh, through the river. There were no roads uh, that were leading to their respective house. But now even roads have also come up. But still, the construction remains the same. And I must say, this is one of the beautiful uh, locations to stay with paddy fields on one side and rivers running right in front of your house. Main source of uh, livelihood of people staying here are rice cultivation, fishing, and tourism. In the olden days, before the construction of the buns, farming could be done only once during a year because with the start of summer there used to be increase of salt water. Two farming seasons could be achieved post construction of buns. The Tani Mukam Bund or the Tani Mukam Salt Water Barrier was constructed as a part of Kutana Development Scheme to prevent tidal action and intrusion of salt water into the Kutana lowlands across Bembanad Lake between Tanir Mukam on west and Vichur on the east. This bund was constructed in 1974 and is functional since 1976 and I must say that it is the largest mud regulator in India. This barrier essentially divides the lake into two parts, one with the brackish water Ternili and the other half with fresh water fed by the rivers of draining into the lake.
Let me try to get a closer look of this bridge up, going down below the bridge. This is the National Waterway 3. 